Right, so we're going on a tour around the industrial printers today. And here's the room with the SLAs. <laughs> So I asked them if I could print my own file, the one I designed last night, the uh, Maker Coin. But I think we'll just try the normal Maker Coin. So this is Shiny 3D's largest SLA, and it is a absolute beast. It has a resin bath that can print things up to 650 millimeters high. So put that into perspective, uh, that, bath, that, that platform drops down 650 millimeters into a bath of resin. So this machine holds a lot of resin and it can print huge parts. They're actually using it to test printing uh, automotive parts like car bumpers in one piece. Then they're using it to make a mold and then they're doing vacuum, vacuum casting or uh, uh, reaction injection molding to make copies. So they can make short runs of parts extremely quickly with very high surface finish because the finish quality on SLA is extremely superior compared to FDM or other 3D printing technology. So basically with this SLA system, it's an open system. You can use any uh, UV curable resin you like, which is pretty awesome because there's tons on the market at the moment now with different properties. They're using a fairly uh, standard white general purpose resin which is from so much um, in terms of costs it's because there's so much resin in the machine it's actually it's quite a significant investment to fill the machine to start and then you need to have, make sure you have the the throughput to continue using that resin you can't buy an SLA and then just leave it for months because it will not end well you need SLA machines are a continuous use system which is what I often tell you guys on, on the channel, you know, SLA machines, you can't buy them and just leave them in a corner gathering dust. You need to use them every day. And if you do treat them well, they will treat you back with amazing high quality parts. But yeah, I can see this machine just revolutionizing the automotive industry. I mean, they, as I said, they're using it for car bumpers. I can see it being used for prototyping nonstop. I kind of want one. <laughs> they opened up the lattice file I had and freaked out because it can't be done on SLA, which is fine. I totally thought it couldn't. So we're going to be trying the little coin and uh, they're using magics to do support material, which is cool. Do you know the theory behind why you lay it at an angle, not flat? No, because it's too much support, but your part is very small and very thin. Oh no, uh, the, <laughs> this one, the, the solid one. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Why, do you, why do you not put it uh, like flat? Oh, you put it at it. Oh, yeah. well, the quality. Oh, the quality, quality oh, better. Quality. Ah, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. Mm. Yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> so they put it at 45 degrees because the quality is improved, which makes sense. So even on SLA, you still can get uh, better quality by putting it at a different angle. This is pretty cool. So we're going to fire up the SLA and see how long it takes. So we have the Maker Coin finished. It didn't actually take very long at all, only a couple of hours. Uh, they actually paused the machine to wait for me to come back because it finished before uh, I could get back in time. And it's, yeah, yeah, it's just great. The quality is phenomenal. I mean, it's still covered in resin, so they gotta leave it for 10 minutes to harden slightly. Then I'm gonna take it out, put it in some isopropyl, clean it like a normal SLA print. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> So it says total print time was three hours and eight milliliters of resin, very little amount of resin. So actually only took two hours instead of three, which is quite quick. And yeah, only eight milliliters of resin. So 460 layers in total on a part that's 446 millimeters high, which would be 0.1, I assume. And like I said, they use a lot of resin in these machines, um, like hundreds of liters so behind me they have all their resin buckets uh, that are used just liters and liters and liters of resin for these machines they just go through so much of it oh, 
And here we have it guys. So they printed this off in two hours on their humongous industrial SLA. And it is the best Maker's Muse Maker coin I have ever seen. So the surface finish is phenomenal. It's a nice white resin. So it's their general purpose resin from what I'm told. Very cool. Very, very cool.